Eric Burgess here. For a lottery, you select a three-digit number. If you pay $1, you can win $500. Find the expectation. In the same lottery, if you box a number, you win $80. 123 is picked and boxed, and $1 is paid. What is the expectation? A box number can occur in any order. So this is a question that comes up every year. Uh, everyone asks it. It's not a well asked question. So there's two there's two parts to this question, which is our first uh, sort of problem with this question. First, there's let me zoom out here a bit so I can see it on my screen. There's this part of the question. This is one entirely separate question. I have no clue why they why they uh, keep it together, but in most times when this is asked, because there's different sort of versions of this. Uh, it's asked like it's all the same question, but that's one question and this is an entirely separate question. And they give you the details of what the box means way after they mention the box, which I think is also very poor question writing. So let's go ahead and dive into, you know, exactly how do we do this? So for this part, all we need to do is we say, okay, we've got a three digit number and we're paying money to win this thing. If we win, you know, we still paid a dollar to play. So we don't really win 500, we win $499. So we can represent this with a probability table. And we could say, okay, well, here's the event X and here is the probability um, of X. So there's the case where we pay a dollar and we lose. So we lose a dollar and we lost. How many ways are there to lose? Well, we had to make a three digit number. So that means we had three digits. So here's spot one, spot two, spot three. And in each one of those spots, we had 10 digits to pick from, right? So that means that we had a thousand ways to uh, come up with a number. Right, you could go from zero to 999, but you could use this as sort of a way to do it. Maybe they had trickier conditions in another problem. So you could use a quick way. Very uh, chapter four based question. So we say a thousand. So we say, okay, there's a thousand ways to do it. And how many ways are there to win? Well, there's one way to win, which means that there are 999 ways to lose. <laughs> so your chances of losing are pretty high. Next, we're going to do the winning. So if you win, you win $500, but you paid a dollar. So you really win $499. And with that $499, you have a one out of a thousand chance of winning, right? There are a thousand numbers. So that means there's only one of them that can do it. So if we want to find the expected value, E, that's going to equal uh, the probability times uh, the event just like the mean does so we're going to do one times 999 over a thousand plus 499 over times one over a thousand this is the same formula as the mean so we're going to go ahead and do this so we've got minus one times and then we've got a fraction i'm going to go ahead and use the actual fraction option here you hit the green key and then f1 up here and we're going to do 999 over a thousand. You could also type it out longhand. I I like typing the fractions. So we're gonna do plus 499 times. We're gonna again do the fraction command, and we're going to do one over a thousand, and we're gonna get out our answer, which is negative a half. So negative 0.5. So this is the expected value. You expect to lose money. So expect to lose 50 cents. All right, part B. In the same lottery, if you box a number, you win 80 bucks. So boxing, as we're told at the end, is a number can occur in any order to win. So it doesn't say to win, but it's implied. So if we have, uh, for example, what do we pick? We pick 123 and we pay the buck to enter. So 123 and then we box it like this. Well, if we look at this, okay, so we say any order these can occur in. So 321 is a winner, 132 is a winner, on and on and on. 
So how many ways can we win? That's what we're concerned with, right? Because we already know there's a thousand possible numbers, but this is going to change the number of ways we can win, not the number of numbers we can make. So 123, well, let's look at this. Each number is unique. So this maximizes our chances of success, right? Because if we had like one, zero, zero, well, in the zero swap, it wouldn't produce a new number. So we wouldn't have as many ways to win. Where here, we have a bunch of ways to win. So we're going to go ahead and pick. So we've got three spots and we've got three numbers. So if each number is unique, which it is in our case, there's three ways to place the first number, right? We could pick a one, a two, or a three. But after we pick that, there's only two ways left and there's only one number left for the end. This is just like chapter four. So we're gonna do three times two times one, that is six. And so that means there's six ways to win. So if we again make a probability distribution table, we have x, p of x. In this case, we have one way, if we pay a dollar and lose, well, there's less ways for us to lose now because there's more ways for us to win. So we already know there's a thousand ways to combine the numbers and it's going to be six of those ways are winning ways so all the other ways must be losing. So if we add a thousand ways to make numbers and we take off the winning ways, which are six ways to win, right? Six ways for our numbers to occur. Then we get 994, 994. And then for the next one, right? We would win, this time we only win $80 though. And since we paid a dollar, we really only win $79, right? Cause we lose a dollar cause we paid to play. So there's six ways for this to happen over a thousand. So if you find its expected value, we're going to get negative one times 994 over a thousand plus 79 times six over a thousand, right? We're just using the formula for the mean. What is this? Now, is it gonna be better or worse than up here? Because keep in mind, this one we have a lower win value. So more ways to win, but a lower win value. So we're gonna do negative one times, and we're gonna do a fraction here. I had for a split second, I forgot how to type a fraction. Okay, so there we go. It hit the green key and then F1. And so we've got 994 over 1,000 plus 79 times six over 1,000. That's gonna give us Negative 13 over 25, we're gonna convert this to a decimal. You hit math, go to decimal, and hit enter. We get negative 0.52. So this one is actually a worse deal. It looks better, because you're like, oh, look, there's more ways to win, but actually a worse expected value than the previous one. So that's how you do this question. If you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos, and we'll catch you in the next problem.